Hello everyone, it's Mr. Quicko here. Welcome back to another train simulator video on the Portsmouth Direct Line. Today we'll be driving this class 707 to Zyro City to Strawberry Hill. But we'll be only going as far as Norberton on today's journey. Where we're driving 707-006. Yes. Head into the cab. Destination boards are already set. Set. Yeah. 455 and triple four over that. Yeah, we'll be a little bit laggy at London just because the amount of amount of AI shift W put it into forwards F to get rid of that. Open the doors. Go. Headlights already set. DRA off. Open the windows. They're all ready to go. Signal still red. Yeah, today we'll be calling at Vauxhall, Clapham Junction, Ellsfield, Wimbledon, Rains Park, New Meldon. Nor and Norberton, so seven stops after Waterloo. ETA into Norberton is six o'clock, so 32 minutes time. Yeah, I'm waiting now for the signal. Yeah, denied. So hopefully, we should be ready to go soon. And as always, Link to the scenario will be in the description down below. Nothing in this part. Doors closing. Yeah, and we yeah, there's a single yellow. And we are lucky enough to have a guard on board with us this evening. Ooh, the lag. Yeah, that's probably the service to Windsor and Eaton Riverside. And that normally leads at 58 and 28. Yep, yeah, sure is. Yeah, FPS should get better the longer we are going for. Yeah. That's just one of those things when you have an old game engine and lots and lots of AI and a very big railway with all this scenery. Yeah, that yeah. nice 442 over there, probably going to Portsmouth Harbour. Yeah, 450s, 450s, 442, four, triple fours and 450. No, 455s. There's a Three four fifties probably come from Portsmouth. As we pass a four fifty two on right. Up next is Vauxhall in just under a mile. The least in train simulator. The distance to go is actually correct rather than as the crow flies in train sim world two. And that loads of seven oh sevens are over there. Albeit there's only 12 five car units left with them for the time being, as the rest went to South Eastern. But they, they should have the last 12 for at least another year, as they're waiting for their other trains. FPS already seems better. Single yellow. Yeah, the scenario difficulty is set to quite hard, so it's already back off, as we'll probably have to come to a stop. Yeah, we will have to come to a stop. It's already put the brakes on. A bit. Another 707. 450. So we come to a stop 
just outside Vauxhall. Yeah, we we are on time, so no need to worry. But yeah, this service is London Waterloo to London Waterloo, so it's like the circular service. Yeah, but yeah. Destination World set for Strawberry Hill. Yeah, we'll be going as far as Norberton today, as I've already said. Let's stop here. This is passenger cam. Bit basic, but yeah, it's pretty much like this in real life. Yeah, with only like one set of four seats in like the car in this part of the carriage. No toilet though. Still red. Let's see. There we go. Should be yeah. There we go. Should be yellow. Let's look this way. Hopefully, the frame should be better. Let's see what speed are we at now? There we are, this is Vauxhall pressing the wrong buttons, getting confused with Train Simo 2. The good thing with, with these trains, you can come in a lot later and get away with it, as the brakes are very, very good. One of the best I've driven, or at least I can remember. Yeah, but you could probably come in at 40 and still be fine, or even more, if you if you were that really want to be that daring. Yeah, this is a 700, 700 slash 707 slash 717 Armstrong powerhouse enhancement pack. There we go. A few seconds late somehow. There we go. Yeah, long train. You can see it. All the way over there. The guard's probably in coach six, as they normally are. He's doing the doors for us. Another 707, 450. Oh, that's uh, SWR livery. There we go. I think I just saw a 455 as well, somewhere over there. It's going to appear. Yeah, there we go. That's what the 707s were meant to replace, but then... Yeah, they're still around the 450s. Yeah, the 707s are meant to be replaced by 701s, which still aren't in service. 442 going by. Plenty to see here at Vauxhall Station. Next station will be Clapham Junction. 707, you can hear it opening its doors. He's probably going to Portsmouth Harbour. That's we're ready to depart. Yeah, 707 006. And off we go. Still a little bit stuttery, it could be worse. We've got 707.023 on the back. I think I actually have been on that one this week. Yeah, I've been on it. Uh, what day was it? Can't remember now. Yeah, I've definitely seen it or been on it this week. That's cool. Got the train I've been on on the back. Okay. There's a pair of triple fours up to 60 now, making our way out of London. But yeah, Norberton is here on the map. 
just branches off at New Malden. Yeah, it goes Strawberry Hill, Kingston area. So yeah, it probably appear back, you know, go past Richmond and places like that. Would be cool if you could get like a Southwestern Railway network, similar to the South London lines, which is pretty much where all the southern goes around London. Would be cool at some point. Well, you never know. Yeah, cruising at 61 and a half miles to Clapham Junction and it looks like we are on time Southern 455 Southwestern Railway 455 455's all around oh yeah this is where it could get interesting especially yeah Spe yeah could get interesting due to yeah, look at that, look how many trains there are. Yeah, you can see London Overground. And you can also see the frame rate dropping. Double yellow. May get held outside of Clapham Junction. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. It'll slow down a bit. But we've got 50 and half a mile. Yeah, single yellow. Yeah, we might be held outside. Yeah, yeah there's the red. Can we still see the shard? No. Let's see. There's the shard. There's the gherkin. There's the mailbox. All the nice London landmarks. Yeah, he's stuck at a red as well. Yeah. A request pass signal denied. AWS. I've got. There we go. Yeah, this is probably going to be loads of AI around here. That's it's good, but in this game, in a way, it's bad because of the performance. But it's not actually my PC that's the limitation here. It's actually the train simulator game engine. But I think last time I was in a 707. Yeah, last time I was in a 707, it was pretty bad as well around here, especially. Oh wow, like one frame per second it feels like. AWS, acknowledge that. There's the 455. Going a bit faster than I wanted. Getting distracted by the lag. There we go. Here we are. This is Clapham Junction. Up next is Ellsfield. Yeah, should get a lot better from this point. Yeah, always very, very lucky on a good scenario, good detailed scenario. Yeah, look how many trains there are. Yeah, let me just go down to four tracks instead of how many that is. Just look, yeah, that's a lot of tracks. Not even, don't even want to count how many that is. There we go. Calms down a bit. 
Wimbledon Park. Hmm. Well, that's probably for the underground or something. I was going to say, I've never really heard of Wimbledon Park. Yeah, just waiting here. We've got another 30 seconds or so as we're leaving at 14 minutes past 5. Okay, this train will probably be heaving in rush hour, at least pre pandemic. He's going to. He's going to cater him. Yeah, and even on the briefing it says, you're not the only train out there, so keep an eye on the signals, have a safe trip. Well, it's taking us 12 minutes from Waterloo to Clapham, so hopefully we can make some good progress shortly. Green signal, which is always good to have. You can hear trains all around. Let's go back into the cab. Waiting for departure. Should be very, very shortly. Yeah, this is a service to Strawberry Hill. Pair of 450s. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of here. Just hopefully for the leg perspective. As good as this area is, it's almost best not having as many AI. Making a bit unrealistic, but then performing a lot better wait for the guard to be bus there we go give him two t beeps back and off we go there we go should hurt, it should shortly get better. Already up to 20. Good acceleration, even though I'm not flooring the acceleration, which is good. Shortly you'll hear the sound change. There we go. Like so. There's the Brighton main line, which we have in Train Simulator and Train Sim World 2. Very good route. Even on Train Simulator, highly recommend it. Be good for Thameslink services with this train. Up the throttle to 100% full power. 1.3 miles to Earlsfield, AWS. Signal just changed to green in front of us. There's a fellow 707. Let's give him a depot whistle. Like so. It's almost like a courtesy horn. So I've heard the drivers use this in real life as well. Oh, let's turn on the driver's vigilance device. Forgot about that. Make it a bit more interesting. Double yellow. Well, we're fine into Earthfield, so yeah, just watch our speed. Yeah, there we go. It seems a lot better now. That's good. Half a mile. We'll probably break around. Put some brake on about 0.4, so any second now. Put it on 35%. Let's yeah, ease off a bit. So we may as well come out a little bit faster than you would on, say, a 4.55. Pair of triple fours on the right. There's a four five five, yeah. Some point we will get in one of these, as I don't think I've been in one of well driven one of them for a while. Haven't seen one in quite a while in real life either. Yeah, this is Ellsfield. Let's go to the S car stop marker. Yeah, the back's on, let's stop here. 
Go on, open the doors. Let's wait in the cab. Okay, departing Earlsfield, doors are closing. Let's give it 72% out of it. Up next is Wimbledon. What's going on? Oh, the driver's vigilance device caught us out. Oh, let's give it full beans. More triple fours. See many of them today. Uh, apart from the Zyro family, but yeah, we're in either Zyro City. Already at 30 miles an hour. There we go. Good acceleration. Most importantly, got the good brakes to stop in the emergency. Double yellow. May have to slow down before coming into Wimbledon. Who knows? A trio of 450s? I don't know where all these trains come from. They seem literally to be there every two seconds. Single yellow. And this is where the other line slows. Slow line moves to the other side of the track, so the two fast lines are in the middle. Oh, there we go, we're cleared into Wimbledon. Let's just coast. Single yellow, then a red to Wimbledon. So we're all good there. And I think Thameslink 700s do come to Wimbledon as well, so that's good. I think they go up to Sutton. What's this? In the distance, that's a pair of 442s probably coming from Portsmouth Harbour. Although they're not in service anymore either. They got pulled out due to the pandemic. Start slowing down. A change here for the tram uh, district line. I think that's it. Coming in at 29 miles an hour. Yeah, but the frame rate looks to have got a lot better. Yeah, not so change here for the Wimbledon tennis. Well, it's probably not on now, as that's in the summer. Forty seconds early. Probably wouldn't happen in real life. We're just making the most of the train. Open the doors. Door into like turn turns off. As the doors are released. Let's see. Yeah, we're on. Still room. Here's the district line. Although it says Aldgate. But yeah, but these are like. On the, uh, oh, what's it called now? On the Metropolitan Line. That's white. Let's say another one. Another District Line service to Wimbledon and another 444 in the distance. Did say that you'd see plenty of them. So there you go. We are here for a minute. So watch him go by. He's in 
Well, the old Southwest Trains livery. 444004. And who have we got in the back? We've got 444009. Here is the district line. Formed of seven, one, two, three, seven cars. Go back to our train. Somehow behind a toilet, even though. They don't have a toilet or these doors. Yeah, they definitely don't have first class. Door into lock light will turn off. And let's go in the caravan to part this time. Yeah, not applying too much throttle, otherwise we'll be too early for the next stop. The next station is Rains Park. Still accelerates really fast on 57% throttle. Probably get over 30 miles an hour out of it. Well, nearly. There you go, the signature noise. Four, five, five. Up the power a bit more. Yeah, we will drive one of these at some point. No idea what that tall spiky building looks. Yeah, no tall buildings now. Minute till we're due. Somehow, we're going to be actually a bit late. So that means we have to use a bit more throttle. Shame the GSMR doesn't work. Although it's all here. There's the phone. If you need to make a quick phone call. Cruising along at 60. So yeah, after we've got Rains Park, New Melbourne, and Norberton. Well, that's where we hand over the train to another driver. Yeah, let's start slowing down for Rains Park. Yeah, New Melbourne is where we branch off the Southwest Main Line or Portsmouth Direct Line, whatever you would like to call it. But I think the Portsmouth Direct Line, well, is. The thing that branch, well, the line that branches off at Guildford, they just call the whole thing Portsmouth Direct Line on steam. Fair enough, though. Another trio of 450s. Wow. Get to the eighth 10 car marker. Oh, no, that's a hunt. That's. There we go. Yeah, I got a bit um, happy with the uh, brake. Should be okay. But yeah, uh, look at this. The FPS works a treat. Taking up. Oh, no. Ah, here it is. Taking up the whole platform. Guard's still got enough space to get off. DVD. Mm. Haven't actually done the horn yet, so let's do that. Mm. Mm. And off we go. This is full power. There you go. Reach thirty. Oh yes. Another trail of 450s. 
Good timing though. 45.6 miles to New Malden. Waiting there for a minute. Some point on our, on our right, we'll see the 450s fly past. Hear the wind flowing through, and here it is. Give him the horn. Thought he'd be going a lot faster than this. He's going to Basing Stoke. Oh, yeah, getting distracted. This is New Maldon. Coming in a bit fast. Another trend you might be a. Uh, Go flying past, but in this, no problem at all. Come in at just about 35. There's the final 450 of that trio. There we go. And another 707. Here we are. This is New Malden. Say goodbye to the Southwestern Main Line. All the 450s and triple fours. Let's watch him depart. There we go. He's giving it the beans too. What's that? That is 707-030. Also think I've seen that recently as well. That's good stuff. Couplers look nice. We've got. Well, we actually arrived 20 seconds early, so. We've got a little bit of a wait, as in 30 seconds or so. Shame the frame rate wasn't like this the whole time. So that would have been nice. Red signal. DVD. Acknowledge that. Pressing E. As we wait for the guard to close the bell blower's whistle and close the doors. And off we go. Next station is Norberton. Uh, this is where we change drivers. Yeah. Speed limit now down to 25 for the time being. There we go. Power off. Looking good. Let's try and not speed going downhill gradient, so very easy to do so. There's a 40. Now going under the southwestern main line. And up to 40. Level crossing. No maniacs this time. All obeying the, the laws. Not driving through the barriers. Oh, this is fantastic. Shame you couldn't go for longer. Even more AI when we're not even there. Good. That's, that shows it's a good scenario. I don't know where they're getting all these 450s from. So we've literally, it feels like we've seen like a hundred of them. Well, that's an exaggeration, but you should know what I mean. Put the power on, up to 60. Tennis courts, probably at park. Yeah. You can also go towards Shepparton from here. Well, yeah, you've got the uh, 
circular services, I think that's what they're called, all the, you know, where they go London Waterloo to London Waterloo and then loop, London loop service, that's what it's called, or the ones that go to Shepparton, which we have done previously. And this is Norberton. Change here for services towards Shepparton. Give you the hoop. Pretend you have a camera and you're a train spotter. Give you a smile on your face. Here we are. This is Norberton. Let's have a quick look on the map. Let's hope here, yeah, look. Kingston. I'm not really sure because I've never been on this part of the line in real life ever. So, yeah, we, we're at Norberton. It came from London Waterloo all the way over here. Yeah, taking around 36 minutes or so. Not too bad. Just the first part was slow and laggy. That's the only bad thing. Good train to drive. Highly recommended. A quick screenshot. There we go. Six o'clock. That's when we're meant to depart. See the fans on the bottom. All the train equipment. Wonder what all of it does. There we go. Well done, you have you have completed the scenario successfully. There we go. Yeah, that's going to be it for today's train simulator video on the Portsmouth direct line going from London Waterloo to Norberton. Yeah, if you have enjoyed, please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more. It all really helps the channel out and is very much appreciated. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you all next time. And yeah, here's the how far we've travelled and the time. But that's going to be it. Hope you have enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you all next time. Bye guys.